I think the book is full of life story about a family, keep the police's family. So um, and it shows a lot of um, the, the the story of Australia, how Australia came about to be the discovery process of Australia, and um, it gets me into understanding uh, the migration of the Dutch family to here and all the struggles and all the, um, the best things that they enjoy from the boat travel all the way to when they descend to the land of Australia. Hello everyone, I am Liz, Keith's sister, and uh, it is a great pleasure to welcome you here today to the uh, launch of The Trek. The Trek is a story about the past, the present and the future. It's not limited to one family because it makes connections with everyone. The values, the dreams, hopes and aspirations for a better world is a common thread, one that each one of us here today also holds. Like me, I'm sure there are many of you here who have often thought, I must write my story. Leave it as a legacy for my children and my grandchildren. Let them know where we came from. I haven't documented my story, although I do feature in Keith's, but I'm very glad that he has succeeded in doing so. What a wonderful achievement. Would you please congratulate with me, Keith, on his wonderful efforts in writing the trek. Thank you so much for coming uh, to the launch of the trek. I am deeply honoured and there are so many people here that I really want to thank uh, for their encouragement. There's been many Facebook uh, friends that I've met for the first time here today and they would encourage me on Facebook. Then there are many, many people at my school of languages, all the students that came. But it's a story about Australia. It's a story about post-war Australia and the Dutch migrants that came here and the cultural shocks we experienced, or at least I experienced. A woman called out to me and said, Come and stand with us, love. You'll be able to see better. That was the first time I had been called love by a strange woman. The lady said her name was Nolene and introduced me to her hubby, Jack. I had no idea what hubby was. Jack said, nice to meet you, Sonny. Wow, I thought, two new names, Love and Sonny. Which one would I choose? <laughs> Mrs. Lo Mrs. Nolene and Jack said they came from Benalla in Australia. Oh, how thrilled I was to meet the first Australians in my life. Uh, actually, I'm uh, translating this book to Persian. Farsi. Yeah. Your best, what was the story you like the best? Uh, I think uh, the, the, uh, the adventures, the adventures that the family and the kids itself, himself uh, was faced with uh, was, uh, was very interesting for me. Uh, when they uh, just came to Australia, everything was new for their family. And uh, it's um, to somewhat, it's like my journey to Australia and uh, I can feel him. Yeah, it's great. So you are translating yeah, uh, the Mandarin version of the track. And um, I think it's quite challenging for me. Uh, it is because um, it's huge difference between the cultures and um, I'm trying to using a way that most of Chinese people are able to understand why also I, um, I try not to uh, translate in my own voice yeah. I try to stand backwards and maybe from the case uh, his perspective and towards the stories um, I am a translator to the Netherlands Ja, het gaat uh, langzaam maar zeker dus gaat het voort. Um, het is heel interessant, omdat um, heel veel dingen die hij tegen is gekomen 50 jaar geleden van over Australië, die kom ik nu vandaag nog de dag nog steeds tegen van um, de, de intonatie bijvoorbeeld van het Engels 
dat je leert op school leer je het Brits Engels of het Amerikaans Engels, maar het Australisch is zo anders, bijvoorbeeld. And I'm uh, I'm sure, I was, I'm pretty sure uh, uh, I'm pretty sure I can be I I can know about Australia from his work. This is the reason why I I bought. <laughs> I think that as a student in humanity, I really need to be much more familiar than I am now with the history of Australia, but not the official narrative of history, but also the real, factual and actual history, which is narrating by a, a, an ordinary person like me, that I know him and I know all his uh, kindship and uh, and I actually, I must say that I found uh, the true meaning of multiculturalism in the way that Kate behaved with my family uh, when my actually my when my husband arrived here in Australia. Uh, it was such a gift in our life. I mean, the the way that Keith was treating us, and uh, I really excited to read the Australian historical narrative in Keith's voice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. As an ode to all the Dutch immigrants that came here in the 50s, including my parents, I actually was privileged enough to live in the Netherlands for 10 years myself, from the age of 10 to 20. So I'm fascinated about the Dutch immigrants and how they came to Australia and their journey. And Case happens to be um, my babysitter when I was a little girl and his parents were friends of my parents but I really love Case because he's really committed to making a difference to people in this world and he's admired by many so I can't wait to actually read it because apparently my family has been mentioned in this somewhere along the line so please go out and buy the book and support someone who really really loves Dutch culture and can't wait. Thank you for this beautiful book and I will really Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. See you later. Thank you. 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 Thank